Hi, let me show you some code. Let's talk about scope, but right before just a few words. The scope of a definition is the area of text where that definition can be used. There are three scopes in JavaScript. The global scope, the entire program, the function scope, the body of a function, and the block scope, for instance, this block. G0 and G1 are global, and so is F1. L1 is a local variable to of F1, so you can use it in the function scope, that is, the function body of F1. L2 is a local variable, which is usable in the block scope, that is, the block from here to here. Another block is the block where L3 can be used, these two lines, or L4 can be used, this line. We have here an assignment to G2. G2 is not equal to L3, not equal to L2, not equal to L1, so G2 is not local, so G2 is global and can be used, in fact, everywhere. So let's try now to see what is G0. It's, it exists and it is undefined. We can ask for F1 and we find a function and we can ask for G2 and G2, as you may see, is undefined because F1 has not run. So let's try to write F1 and now G2. G2 now exists and is bound to 3. Last thing to say is that we have the const keyword that introduces a variable that is constant. So it's a constant variable and it's an oxymoron. And that's life.